Storm Team 4 now, a little sunshine amid all the rain. Not actual sun, though. It's just some cute little girls jumping in all the puddles they found tonight up in Grafton. Meteorologist Brian Niznanski, thank you for sharing this video with us. We needed something kind of fun on a gloomy day. Brian Goddard in the storm chase tonight in Cedarburg. Brian, I am on the second floor of my home and the rain is coming down at a pretty good clip on my roof right now. I can hear it. It is. And here in Cedarburg, it's a heavy mist. And we've also had those rain showers. Puddles, one thing. Uh, creeks, rivers, stay away from. that. This I usually bring my dogs here on our long walks where they get a little water break. There's usually about four more steps going down. So about three, four feet here and they get water. Not anytime soon. This thing is moving. Cedar Creek usually pretty peaceful. Not today and not for probably the next week or so if we can stay dry. All right, so we do have the rain. We have some fog. Uh, it has been day two of dreariness here in southeastern Wisconsin. At least, yes, it's been raining today, but not the, oh my goodness, the three to seven inches of rain that we had yesterday. Uh, Waukesha right now at 46 degrees, 100% humidity. It is foggy and raining. Here are the rain totals. If you haven't seen them, uh, they are impressive. You're looking at seven inches of rain in Belgium and Plymouth. That is more than double the monthly average for May. Random Lake at six and a half. Ripon at four and a half. Here in Cedarburg, uh, that's a little bit old now. We're probably getting closer to almost five inches of rain after all this uh, rain that we've had, this lighter rain throughout the day. Milwaukee, 3.21. That is pretty much the monthly normal in 24 hours. And West Bend, one of the lower readings at 2.3, and that is a lot of rain in 24 hours. Still seeing green on the radar. Uh, you heard uh, Steve say that it's raining in Milwaukee, but it's not showing up on radar. That is because it is heavy, heavy drizzle and mist uh, coming down at a pretty good clip. Those small particles are not being detected on radar. There is the culprit of all this mess, the low pressure down around Chicago. We're still getting those north to northeast winds pretty gusty, anywhere from 15 to 25. But now that they're more northerly, uh, we're getting less wave action beating up the lakeshore like it's been doing for the last couple of days as well. The rain chance actually goes up overnight tonight and will be likely tomorrow morning up until around 10, 11 o'clock, and then the storm system finally moves out of here. We'll stay mostly cloudy throughout the day tomorrow, but at least the rain moves out. We'll pick up another quarter of an inch. Any more rain, we don't need it, but at least it is on the lighter side uh, here in southeastern Wisconsin. There's the clouds. Northeast winds continue tomorrow and come more northwesterly. And then finally, sunshine on Wednesday, but yes, the wind is light out of the northeast at 5 to 10, keeping the lakefront cooler. Car wash forecast, wait tomorrow. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, looks to be great. And oh yeah, the sun's out, but it's also warming up. So for tonight, rain becoming likely. It is raining now, but a little bit heavier rain. Temperatures are right around 50 degrees, and we won't warm up much tomorrow. We'll stay uh, in the mid-50s here in Milwaukee with that cool breeze. But look at inland. Temperatures there in the low to mid-60s. 59 on Wednesday. Those are mid-60s inland. How about 70s inland by Thursday? And we just keep the warming trend going, and everyone will be in the 70s. By the time we get to the weekend, there's a chance for some pop-up thunder showers. Nothing like we've had to endure the last couple of days. Uh, but it is going to be nice and warm and dry. The one thing we're going to watch out for, you guys, mosquitoes. All this water and warm air, oh, they're going to be out like crazy. <laughs> oh, man. It is the unofficial start of summer this weekend. It's about time, Brian Goddard.